Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. Uh, this is Ampillion, and we're hanging outside the Marsh Cave here. Um, unfortunately, this isn't from the exact spot we left off at because, well, let's say, let's say I don't remember this game as well as I thought I did. Um, I came in here, and I'd made, I started recording. I was showing off all the various treasures you pick up and all the different spots. Well, um, I came back, got down to the last boss of the area, and totally botched it all up. I accidentally saved into a no-win situation, and, well, I kind of had to start over again. Um, I did already get all the treasures, so I can't really go back and show them off at this point, but uh, if you go north from there, there's a large knife and some gold. Off to the right here is absolutely nothing. It's just a dead end. Going down south, on the other hand, leads us to the uh, completing the dungeon. These guys, I I wanted to show them off just because um, we'll, it'll come up again later on in the video. But these guys are totally physical resistant. Um, each hit does one whole damage unless you get a critical. Uh, if you don't get a critical, you're literally fighting for minutes at a time, just sitting here beating these guys up. And like I said, thank thank God I've figured out how to uh, enable the speed up option on the emulator. Anyway, we go on down through this place. Um, just a quick note: if you come down here, make sure you stock up about twenty, twenty or thirty pure potions, and probably another twenty or thirty heal potions. You won't. You definitely want to save your spells just in case you get down to the boss here and do what I did. Um, this first room there has got an iron breastplate. There's also some gold and a house. The houses are very handy, but um, otherwise you really don't need to pick up any of the treasure here. At the very bottom down there, uh, the, the last row of buildings, there are about four different treasure rooms, but they are all locked with the um, mystic key, which we'll be getting after this video, actually. Anyway, here's the spot I got stuck on for a while. I literally had to fight these guys probably mm, 15 times or so. Mostly because the first time I came down here, I had no spells. I had no heal spells whatsoever. The only thing I'd do was cast Invis, which, as you'll notice in this fight, it doesn't help as much as it's supposed to. I mean, you're sp it's supposed to increase your evade rate, and yet... Uh, Half the time when I cast it on people, they would get killed immediately after. Um, but yeah, the wizards here don't cast any spells at all. They just hit really hard, which is kind of bizarre for wizards. Uh, so if you have a pure physical group like I do, you might want to make sure you bunch up and take out uh, wizards quickly instead of spreading the damage around. If you've got a black mage, you probably are like pelting them with the uh, lightning two and fire two spells, so y you might have an easier time with this than I did. But uh, for my guys, I most of the time I had to cast invis on two, maybe three different guys, and then let them take care of the wizards one at a time. Once I finally figured out my plan of attack and, you know, came back with spells and potions this time. I didn't have too much problem beating them. So make sure you stock up on that stuff, because for some reason healing in this game up until later levels is, is kind of just inefficient. Casting a cure spell is pointless, and cure 2 might help you out a little bit, but you're not really going to get everything out of it. Alright, so we bust Cheeks out of the uh, Marsh Cave, and here we go up to deliver the crown that we picked up. Oh, we're just going to step right into the fight here, because it does take a little while, and I didn't speed it up at all. I left it. I left it at game speed, just so you could see how fun it is. Um, yeah, so Ass Toast here, uh, he's physically resistant to. 
Yeah, just like those ooze guys. Um, which, again, wouldn't be bad if he was an ooze guy, because the ooze guys had maybe 20 hit points or so. This guy, not so much. It will be a long fight. Uh, I honestly don't remember this being that difficult, but then again, I most likely had a black mage at every time that I played the game, or at least black magic. I have, I don't, I, you know, I don't think I've ever had an all physical party like this, so. I, I mean, the white, I have a white mage, but the white mage's spells don't do anything on this guy, so. It, you pretty much. I did cast the uh, A lit and A fire to uh, make his fire fire and lightning spell damage uh, about half as powerful, but it really wasn't too big a deal considering the fact that he doesn't really do a lot of attacks. He occasionally he'll physically attack, but most of the time he will cast spells like slow sleep uh rub rub which is the worst of of his spells um you might i believe towards the end i get uh gary caught with a rub spell the, the, right off the beginning usually he casts it and uh there's not it's not a 100 percent chance to kill but if, you, if the fight goes on long enough there's a good chance he's gonna kill one of your guys uh, no questions asked. Um, the other the other problem that I ran across with this is that uh, even though I don't do squat for damage, uh, even if I can continue to hit constantly, I will eventually get enough crits to kill the guy. Well, uh, he will inevitably also cast darkness on you, so that only hurts your chances greatly, or, or more great. <laughs> it only hurts your chances to uh, hit this guy for any amount of damage when he, you get cast in the darkness. Yeah, the fight the fight is quite long, but um, you might not make the same mistake as me and not take a black mage of any sort with you like, whenever you play. So or. <laughs> This probably won't encourage you to take an all-physical party. But, anyway. We will eventually kill this guy. Yeah, I didn't. I also didn't uh, make note of the fact that I actually stopped, fought this guy a couple times, realized what I was up against, went back, uh, rested, and then came back up here to fight him again. Because it was just... I didn't want the whole wizard fiasco to happen again. I, I literally got frustrated at the game because of the whole constant getting jumped by wizards and beaten senseless. Mm, though mostly that was my fault in not conserving stuff. My spells and potions. Well, not purchasing enough potions, but I, I have a good excuse for that. Uh, the item purchasing items in this game is entirely oops there goes Gary yeah so Gary misses out on a big chunk of experience once more but uh, yeah buying items in this game is entirely um, a teeth pulling experience because you can't buy them in bulk you can only buy them one at a time and wouldn't be so bad if healing spells were, you know, useful, but you're going to need the, you're going to need to drink heal potions and pure potions a lot. Yeah, uh, I, th I totally forgot that the crystal just pops in your inventory after you beat that guy, so I bothered wasting my time looking around for it. Alright, so we skip ahead, yep, we're turning in the crystal to the witch. Yay, we get some herb, which I I feel pretty bad that we actually wasted our time to uh, collect weed for an elf. Anyway, uh, next time uh, we'll properly do this video. <laughs> we Hopefully things will go smoother. Uh, this has been Amp, and 
we'll see you at the elf castle have a good one